This is your host, Quasar and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Terra Story. In the last episode, we made our way through the Mirage Arena, at least the first three missions, and then we saved Master Xehanort from the mysterious man, Brig. And this time, we're going to be starring in Disney Town. I'll take you on. Okay. She said phew, but her mouth was completely still. I mean it. The name's Tara. It's nice to meet you, Tara. What are you God, her, her lip sync is just non existent. It's I'm just sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, Rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. At least Tara's lip flaps and Chip and Dale's lip flaps at least look natural, in a sense. Captain Dark. Who made me miss a new track record? Hold on. How's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a rigger? Huh, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting the record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second. You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules. Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those cards that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. Bullshit. That's it. They're yeah, all over this town. The and while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honestly, this doesn't even make a lot of sense. I know. I'll play by the rules. Because, yes, we'll beat the unversed in a race, but... Yay! Whenever you're ready. I mean, we'll get first place, but they're still wreaking havoc. Uh, but welcome to Disney Town. We're going to be honestly skipping most of it. All we have to do is this mini game. And that is the end of it. Okay, accelerate with X, break with... Alright. I hope I got that. It was accelerate with X. And that's really the only thing I need to know. The first track is... Like, there's multiple tracks. You only have to beat the first one to proceed. Out my way. Whoa, that break is something else. Bring it. And yep, shortcuts. Ah. Louis, why are they fighting me? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I was trying to, like, see if there was Mario Kart drifting in this, but there's not. It's just a sharp freaking break. Five laps. This may, this may take a while. <laughs> I'm not even fighting the adverse at that point. I was just beating up children. See ya. Oh yeah, that's never going to get annoying.
Yeah, I, I should probably not be holding on to accelerate the entire time, but whatever. Nope! Okay, okay, yeah, sure. I wonder if there's some rubber band physics applied to this or something. Come on. Just need to take the shortcut. And then I'll be A-okay. Don't get hit by a freaking tornado this time, me. Okay. Come on. Did it. That wasn't too bad. That was stomachable. Okay, come on. It's not like you're showing me best times right now. Now you're showing me best times. Yeah, I'm good with not playing... Rumble racing ever again in my life. I hope he dies. Pete, vote. What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our Dream Festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip hip hooray for Terra! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that was a lesson you needed to learn. I've been staring into the darkness. <laughs> oh god, the edge creeps in. Mean I have to jump in. Minnie's just stare <laughs> doing a thousand yard stare. <laughs> the darkness. But yeah, that, that's it for that's it for Disney Town. Like you can go back there. But there's and collect treasure and such, but there's not much else there to do. Stay back. Yep, don't worry, Herc, we got this. I mean, person I don't know. I hope at some point I'll be able to change up my loadout. Come on, guys. Into the magnets. Ah, gotta take out these gladiator guys first. They're the worst. Ah. Wait, didn't I unlock Dark Star 2? Why am I still using Dark Star 1? Like, it usually changes automatically. <laughs> oh, Magnaga, you just make everything oh too easy. You okay? They were too much for me. I'm just gonna have to train harder. That's the spirit. You're pretty tough. 
it really handled those things. Are you here to enter the games? What games? The games games. To see who's strongest. One day, I'm gonna win them all and become a true hero. Hey, where are you? Front and center right now, or I'm tacking on another thousand laps. Uh-oh, gotta go. The Coliseum's just up ahead. I, I hope I get to see you fight there sometime. A competition. Hmm. I should find out how strong I really am. And welcome to the Olympus Coliseum, the place in Kingdom Hearts has shown up probably more than any other world. Has it shown up more than Hollow Bastion? Well, I guess it's Radiant Garden in this game. Yeah, I need to change out some of my skills. Dark Fiagra, Fyraga, not Fiagra, like some type of enlargement. Uh, Blackout, because we should level these up. Ignite. That one has attack haste on it. And stop rub. Sure, I have a Kira. That, that's good enough for me. Let's meld some commands. Do I got fleeting crystals? Yeah. This gives me some magic haste so my magic attacks come back faster. Which means faster cures. And that's all I can upgrade. Oh, I should have checked if there was any... Uh, treasure in that room. Jeez, Louise, one chump after another. The who's who of the Capilon disasters around here. All I need is one measly warrior tough enough to give Zeus a jolt of his own medicine. Wait. Dark Moody Powerful? Yes, he's perfect. This is it. <laughs> I love that Moody was added to that. Huh? Mm, pains me to see it. All that power going to waste. Who are you? Name is Hayden, Lord of the Dead, God of the Underworld, yada yada, how you doing? Hey, let me guess. You're trying to put the kibosh on the darkness inside you. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Well, anyway, bad idea. Wait, what? Okay, stay with me. Darkness is inside everybody. Nothing to be ashamed of. You play nice with it, and darkness will be your best friend. I'm but pretty sure Xehanort was trying to tell us the exact the same thing. Will run over you like a debutante at a toga sale. And then where are you? Nowhere. Now me, I look at you, and I see potential. That's right, kid. You got the potential to conquer the darkness inside you. And I'll even give you some pointers. I mean, believe me, if anybody knows conquering, I know conquering. Well, let's hear it then. How do I conquer the darkness? <laughs> oh god, that face. You sign up for the games. I know, I know. Please, Lord Hades, the games. But hey, you would be surprised what you can learn in the heat of battle. There was not even lip flash for that one. It's so strange. The last one, his face was frozen. And this one, he actually has perfect lip sync. Or not perfect, but good. This is a limited time one. It's, it's just so weird how the quality of this game changes so rapidly when it comes to that stuff. And I know, and it may sound like I'm nitpicking, and in a couple cases I am. But when they don't even bother to add lip flaps, and it's just, like, with mini. I'm not saying they need special animations for every single one. I'm okay with the lip flaps. It's just when they change between them so awkwardly that it's blatantly obvious at this point it, it's a little jarring is all I'm saying alright let's do this when are you going to tell me how to conquer the darkness jeez it, yeah I mean hold, hold your chair horses we just got here with these things. Name? Terra. Kind of earthy, but all right. <laughs> Height and weight. What's this? Favorite god? <laughs> Come on. Haiti. There. Ba -boom. <laughs> I sense that you're already starting to get all warm and fuzzy with that darkness inside you. Sweet, really. And hey, by the time you win the final match here, you'll have figured out how to conquer it for good. 
And don't worry, anything goes wrong, I'll make it all go away. Service with a smile. I got it. <laughs> See, that was good. That, that was good emotion. I am I am kind of surprised Unverse can even be in the tournament. Just like I'm surprised Heartless could be in the tournament of the last one. Well, of, of any game. Those for the nobodies, too. How do they... I mean, you heard Hades say, like, you can't imagine the bureaucracy with it, so do they actually... <laughs> oh, that was... okay. Oh, right, I don't have my usual skills. Come on. Hey, don't steal that money, it's mine. All of my skills right now suck. Oh no, he's not taking damage. Oh, I almost... I was afraid I stopped him and he wouldn't come back in time. That was a good use of a finisher. But I have, like, no good attacks on me. I don't got my magnets, I don't got... Um, I don't have any uh, wide range attacks. It's just smacking for me right now. Oh no. It's okay, just gotta hit you once. Okay. How many battles? Well, I guess it might be ten, just like just like Kingdom Hearts One. But I don't like the time limit, the individual time limit. Like if you gave me a certain amount of time to fight all battles, but nah, this is just iffy. Oh, I forgot to check if I have Dark Star Two equipped. Oh, hello. He's fine. Come on. No, no, Tara, stop doing the flippies. That's just a little bit of an extension. Now let's see. Finish commands. Yeah, I do have Dark Star too. Why was that not equipped? And then level six is the final skill for Terra. I don't know how to get that one. I don't even have good skills. Okay, let's see. I didn't get a new Keyblade. But I did get uh, that Sonic Impact, which is super useful. It, it adds like a second dash, like this. Wait. So that's good. Alright Hades, let's do this. This is a tough battle I was talking about last episode. Coming through. I'm gonna miss my match. 
Hello, Plan Beta. Hey, kid. Huh? Over here. Come here. Once I've conquered the darkness in my heart, I'll never have to fear it again. Oh, his eyes are glossed over. First part of this battle? No problem, actually. Bam. I do love how, like, big my attacks are starting to get with meteors and all such. Time. Yeah, first part, first battle, no issue whatsoever. Yeah, it's when the helmet comes off that the <laughs> real battle begins. Tara doesn't know the guy at all. He's just like, huh, he might be dead. Bingo. The darkness will never have me. Help me. You've got to set my heart free. I will by kicking the shit out of you. But this battle is not to be underestimated. Okay, okay, yeah, see, see, okay. Okay! And I was even over-leveled for this. No problem, man. Let's just... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah. He's gotta lay on the cheese with the Ventus. You can't escape. Like he, he is absurd. You're done. Come on. You can't escape. There we go. That's no problem. There's not even a crowd in the audience. The seats are empty. Forget it. It looks like I bet on the wrong dark horse. That kid doesn't have what it takes to handle darkness. You gonna make it? Yeah, yeah. I'm finally free. Where is? He's gone. Man, how can I let a guy like him control me? I'll never live it down. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Tara. 
Thanks, Terra. I'm Zack. Hmm. Yep. Definitely. Terra, you're exactly what I pictured a hero would be. Not the way you look. There's something else about you. Well, I'm no hero. Trust me. Are you kidding? Listen to those cheers, man. <laughs> they, Hold on. they couldn't even do the bare minimum of an audience. You're their hero. Who are we talking about? And mine too. It's too bad. I really wanted to fight you fair and square. Maybe someday, Zach. <laughs> I'd like to see that. That's still a possibility of something that could happen in Kingdom Hearts 3. But, who knows. We still have a little bit of time left, so let's move on to the, to the third world, shall we? You know, maybe we shouldn't be holding on to that while flying through space. How did we get that out of our armor, anyway? Defeat countless unverse. Doing that already? You think I've been keeping count? I didn't like counting to 20. When it came to blocking the other episode, you think I'm gonna count how many unverse there are here? I'm just gonna keep smacking them. Yeah, I did not defeat anywhere close to all of them. This world was such a surprise to me because I, I didn't know anything. I did not know this world was going to be in this game. But I but it's such a nice, uh, nice addition. Deep space. So not really a world, but whatever. Is he the one? Yes, Grand Councilwoman. I've confined him until we can determine what he is. <laughs> Take cover. Leave it to me to handle these fiends. Whatever you are, you're under arrest. Eventually. <laughs> First. You think they have a little bit more security than a than a large guy with a pistol? I'll give you a fight. Good thing we have the keyblade, which can unlock any lock. Otherwise, you know, prison would suck. But let's get this on. All right, we got a new uh, D link, so let's check the, this out. And we got Berserk, which I forget what that does. I think it increases the amount of attack power we have or something. Maybe. I wonder if we can look that up. Hero's Entrance. Oh, nice. Just a flat out AoE attack. I approve. I think it's allowing me to do more damage as my health gets lower, or something. Take that. 
Bam! Oh, that's such a powerful hit. Very impressive display. Wait! You help! I have Why? Been on ridiculous charges. You know, any prisoner would say that. I am innocent purpose to create the galaxy's most destructive, <laughs> constructive features of all time. Why, my experiment could annihilate features you fought so hard. He is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his rather diminutive size. And for reasons preposterous, the Federation Council fears him. They take him away from me and throw me here in small, stuffy, rather badly lit cell. Because he's so powerful? Exactly. Everyone always gets anti advantage when somebody more powerful is in the neighborhood. You understand, perhaps? We must make you rescue him, or he'll be banished to far regions of space. Okay then, take me to him. What? What? The? I mean, he could be lying. Experiment six two six. His name I give to adorable fluffy creature. You're helping on the rescue, and I am genius scientist who created him, Doctor Jumbo Jukina. I'm Terra. Pleasure is all ours. Six to six is this way. Hurry! Hurry! Let's gently walk that way. I think there's some stuff I can get. High jump. Wow, you, you hit that there? That's something I really needed. Oh, do I have to... Where is high jump? Oh, I have to replace it with jump. Of course. I'm glad I took the time to stop. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you know what? It's probably not that important. I'll, I'll come back to it possibly off screen. But that's going to be it for this episode. This one's been going on a little long. I didn't expect it to be this long. I didn't expect the additional battle and the cutscenes, but, you, you know, things happen. But uh, next time on Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Terra Story, we're going to, well, finish up Deep Space. After that, we only have one more world until we start hitting the finale. There, There's still a lot to do. Well, not a lot to do. Only a little to do after we hit the next one. Uh, but until then, this has been your host, Kosa Raspel, hoping to see you in the next video, and signing out.